in this rectangle suppose the length of rectangle is 9 meters and its breadth is 4 meters then area will be equal to 9 multiplied by 4 is equal to 36 meters square for many students it is very hard to understand that when length is in meters and the breadth is also in meters why we write the area in square meters in this video we are going to discuss why the area is written in unit square this is a rectangle its length is 3 meters and breadth is 2 meters so let us divide these 2 meters in two equal parts and also divide these 3 meters in three equal parts this is 1 meter this is 1 meter this is 1 meter so 1 meter 1 meter now let us join these points So we have got 6 squares of 1 meter each, 1 meter by 1 meter. So 1 meter square, this is a square of 1 meter. Similarly, this is also a square of 1 meter. This is this and all these 6 are 6 squares of 1 meter each. When we find the area of this rectangle, the area will be equal to 2 into 3 meters square 6 meters square we are getting 6 squares of 1 meter each so that is why we call the area as the meter square in any figure let it be a triangle let it be a circle the area enclosed in these figures will also be written as meters square. For example, let the height is 3 meters and the base is 4 meters, then the area will be equal to half base into height. So the area enclosed in this rectangle will be equivalent to 6 squares of 1 meter each. So whatever may be the shape, the area is always described in unit square. If these are in meters, it will be meter square. If these are in feet, it will be feet square. If they are in inches, it will be inches square.